I'm still in the same location. Yay! Hey everyone, Jimmy Thousand Six here. So, yeah, this has been kind of a wild week. Uh, two weeks, three weeks, something, month, sure, whatever. And, uh, yeah, new news. Uh, a lot of Final Fantasy Freddy stuff, but we also got a Nintendo Direct. Now, I love Nintendo Directs. I mean, let's be honest. Only thing I watched them for was because it's Nintendo and I gotta support them, man. I don't really have to. They're pretty big anyways. Anyways, so, yeah, Nintendo Direct, first one in over a year. About a year and a half. That is a long time. And we finally got a new one. And, well, it was a little bit disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, at least I found it disappointing. And so we didn't really get any big news at all for anything other than just Smash announcements. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, getting new DLC. And then we got Splatoon 3, and that was about it. As well as what everyone's talking about, Skyward Sword HD. That also exists. Okay, so let's be honest. I'm, I'm speaking this from my heart right now. Anyone who actually was waiting for any new piece of information about Breath of the Wild 2, uh, yeah, disappointing, but this game has been announced for a while. It's like Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4, has that actually been announced, or is that just a thing that people are talking about? I think it's been announced. Anyways, Metro, Metroid Prime, Prime 4, that came out, and that was, we were told about that a while ago, and we still have no new information about it. Well, yeah, no new information about it. We got an information like, oh, Switching Studios. I don't know if that's... I think that's Bayonetta. Am I wrong? I don't know. Anyways, so, yeah. We got new information about... About lots of games. Smash announcements. Uh, Splatoon 3, which, I mean, Splatoon 2 came out a while ago. Not too long ago. Uh, like, less than... A, Two years ago? Three years ago? Something like that. Anyways, and we we're already getting Splatoon 3, but Skyward Sword. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, this isn't a video about Sm about about the Nintendo Direct. This is just about Skyward Sword. Uh, that, I should make that very clear uh, before I started this. But, yeah, so... Skyward Sword. Let's be honest. Hey, John Luma. It got me on this one. <laughs> So, yeah, Skyward Sword, what? Have you even heard of this game? I mean, if I'm being honest, no one liked this game. I mean, very few, pe very few people have ever actually said, oh, I played this and I absolutely loved it. And that's not because, well, the game is almost perfect. Like, I kid you not, the story, the dungeons, everything. I've never played the game, but I've heard that these... Things are so amazing about the game, and it's so awesome, and it's a Wii. It's on the Wii. That means motion controls. Yeah, uh, if you didn't know, we exist. We based around motion controls. Did anyone like the motion controls? Some people did. They were pretty unresponsive, almost as res unresponsive as the Kinect. But... It was a big console? You're, am I right? Yeah, anyways. Wii. Really big console, and then right when Skyward Sword, or like just before Skyward Sword was released, they announced Wii Motion Plus, which was like a brand new accessory that was made, that made the motion controls just better, and it made it so it was more accessible, and it would work more. And it was kind of awful because Skyward Sword was riddled with motion controls. Like, I can't... <laughs> Just let me show you what part of the game... What parts of the game were actually had motion controls in them. It's the full game. All, the, the entire game had motion controls in them. I don't know what to say. It had motion controls. The Wii was like... Six years old? Five years old? Something like that at the point that this was released. And still, Nintendo thought, you know what? You know what we could do that would make this game so much better? 
What if we added motion controls to every single thing that you've had to do in this game? Breathing, motion controls. You know, walking, motion controls. Flying a bird? Motion controls! I'm sorry, I don't like motion controls. Can you tell that? Can you tell that? I don't like motion controls. Motion controls. I didn't like them. They were really unresponsive. Again, Connect. That was also really unresponsive. But motion controls. Skyward Sword had so much motion controls. So many motion controls that a lot of people just said this game is really bad because motion controls in it everywhere. I mean, there have been Zelda games. There were Zelda games. One Zelda game on the Wii before this. It's Twilight Princess, a pretty mediocre game in my eyes because I love Wind Waker. Apparently that's a common thing. People like Wind Waker. They don't like Skyward Sword. I don't know. Anyways, Twilight Princess on the Wii had motion controls, but they were good. They actually were just like to control the sword. And I'm pretty sure that was it. I don't know. I don't own a Wii anymore. But apparently it was pretty good. Apparently, this game was pretty, really good with the motion controls. Basically, all you had, to do, all you had was sword. And yeah, but then Skyward Sword came around. They're like, you know what? This people loved Twilight Princess. Everyone loved this game and thought it had the perfect balance of motion controls. And it just seems like it would be so good if we did that again. Nah, people just love the motion controls. Why don't we slap them everywhere? Skyward Sword, it still has motion controls. Yay. That's a fact. So, Skyward Sword HD. Let's talk about this. Now, I have been on YouTube for a while now. I've watched YouTube videos. And so, YouTube just knows that I love gaming. And so, what does YouTube do? Give me so many YouTube videos on Skyward Sword HD. And I'll be darned if every single one of them didn't mention the fact that this now had motion controls, but it also had button controls, which weren't in the first game, but also that it was running at 60 frames per second. But yeah, no. So, 60 frames per second. Why do people care about this? Well, I watched a video... I don't remember who I think was Game Explained, but where they actually showed what the first game was like and what the HD game was like. It looks so much better on H in HD, but you know what they also did for Skyward Sword HD? It hasn't been announced yet, or announced yet, no, it hasn't been released yet, but on release date, I think. Joy-Cons! Yeah. Joy-Cons! They're just gonna slap on Joy-Cons for this. Joy-Cons that come in a set are $80. At this point, Nintendo is just asking you to spend money. I mean, that's what they're always... They, that's what they always wanted. But money. They just want money at this point. I mean, I'm getting them. I will. Because I love Zelda. But it's insane. I mean, I'm excited for this game. I'll probably get it. No, I won't probably get it. I will get it. I will get Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And I'll probably do a Let's Play on it too on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch, by the way. That should be a plug. Very shameful and shameless at the same time. Follow me on Twitch. <sighs> Motion controls. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I was going to make a video, and I probably will still make it, but Skyward Sword, everyone loves this game, but no one liked the motion controls. And by everyone loves this game and no one likes motion controls, I mean no one liked this game because of the motion controls. That's just a fact. You'd be pretty hard-pressed to find someone who liked Skyward Sword. If you like Skyward Sword, too bad. Terrible game. No, I'm just kidding. You can love what you want, whatever. This is really annoying, though. I mean, I... Annoying, yes, that the Wii game had most controls in it. I mean, they, they even re-released it for the Wii U Virtual Console. 
but then it still had motion controls in it and no button controls. And everyone hated it. Everyone hated the motion controls. They're still in the game. Switch. Better console. Put them together. Probably be good. Let's hope. Let's hope people actually like this version. Because, I, again, I've heard that this is an amazing game. That this game is going to be great on the Switch. But the motion controls, no one liked it because of the motion controls. Apparently, like, so many people just got to, like, the last dungeon and were like, Nope, not doing this. Motion controls are killing me and we're not out of the story. That, wait, no, not story. Out of the, uh... Tutorial. We're not out of the tutorial yet, because apparently the tutorial lasts up until, like, forever. Apparently it lasts forever, which is another thing. But that's, again, apparently really amazing game, like, really, really influential to the whole story. But it apparently just really bad because of the motion controls and... Never-ending tutorial, but I'm excited for this game. Are you excited for this game? Because again, I am. If you did enjoy, please subscribe. It's completely free. And like if you liked it. Just simple as that. And uh, next week, no, no, not even next week. This week, probably less than five days away from when you're watching this video, we're going to get a Nintendo Direct. But for Pokemon... That's not Nintendo Direct. That's just a Pokemon Direct. But we're getting it. There's going to be a Post Malone there. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great. Hopefully. I'll probably do a reaction to that. I, I might even release the uh, actual reaction of me to the Nintendo Direct. Again, first one in over a year and a half. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. That's all I really wanted to do. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everyone.